Now we discuss about why intensive carrier concentration of germanium is more than silicon at any temperature. Intrinsic carrier concentration is indicated with Ni. Ni for germanium is 2.5 into 10 power 13 per centimeter cube that is carriers per centimeter cube and for germanium Ni sorry Ni for silicon is equal to 1.5 into 10 power 10 carriers per centimeter cube. That is per unit volume. Intensive carrier concentration of silicon is 1.5 into 10 power 10. For germanium it is 2.5 into 10 power 13. Why the germanium has more concentration than silicon? Okay. So before that one, first of all we will see what is meant by intrinsic carrier concentration. Ni. Intrinsic carrier concentration is directly proportional to number of covalent bonds broken. Number of covalent bonds break at a given temperature. How many number of covalent bonds break at a given temperature? Okay, that is directly proportional to Ni. Or simply you can say Ni is nothing but number of covalent bonds broken at a given temperature. Whenever a covalent bond breaks at that time, that many number of free electrons, that many number of holes will be created. So let's Ni is going to be a carrier. This is the values at room temperature at 300 degree Kelvin. So at room temperature in germanium 2.5 into 10 power 13 covalent bonds are broken. Because of that one, that number, that many number of free electrons are created in conduction band, that many number of holes will be created in valence band. Similarly for silicon also. Okay. So that implies Ni is function of temperature. Ni is function of temperature. As temperature increases, Ni increases. So if temperature is constant, if temperature is constant, then Ni is also constant. That's why only at room temperature, that is a constant temperature of room temperature if you apply, you are applying a constant thermal energy. Because of constant thermal energy, a constant number of covalent bonds will break that is given as for germanium this is a value for silicon this is a value okay now we will see why it is more in germanium why it is less in silicon okay so if you observe the energy gap of silicon and germanium if you observe the energy gap of silicon and germanium for silicon this is for silicon and this is for germanium energy band diagram so eg is equal to at 0 degree kelvin the value is 1.21 electron volts and at 300 degree kelvin eg at 300 degree kelvin is 1.12 electron volts and similarly temperature at 0 degree kelvin eg value is 0.785 electron volts for germanium at room temperature the value is 0.72 electron volts. So at any temperature if you observe energy gap of germanium is lesser than energy gap of silicon. Energy gap of germanium is less than energy gap of silicon at any temperature. Okay. So if you apply a constant room temperature or any constant temperature you see at any temperature that is nothing but temperature is fixed for both that means constant thermal energy you are applying constant thermal energy you are applying since you are applying a constant same thermal energy for both silicon and germanium but germanium has less energy gap so that more electrons can excite from valence band to conduction band that means more covalent bonds will break in germanium than silicon okay so energy gap can be defined as energy gap is the minimum amount of energy to be applied to break a covalent bond or to move an electron from valence band to conduction band. So that since energy gap for germanium is less, more electrons will move from valence band to conduction band. That is more number of covalent bonds will break. That is the reason why Ni is greater than silica. Ni for germanium is greater than 
silicon. Okay. So the basic reason is energy gap is going of germanium is smaller compared to silicon. So that Ni of germanium, Ni of germanium is larger than Ni of silicon. Thank you.